This is Asia Tonight. Good evening, I'm Dawn Tan. Tonight's top stories. Myanmar's military spells out punishments of up to 20 years in jail for protesters as Aung San Suu Kyi's detention is extended. With just months to go, a survey shows over half of Japanese firms want the Tokyo Olympics cancelled or postponed. A highly contagious UK variant of COVID-19 hits New Zealand. Officials are still unclear how it entered the country. The arrest of a young Indian climate activist stirs outrage in India. 22-year-old Disha Ravi is accused of sedition for promoting the farmers' protests. And a smooth start to the UK's hotel quarantine regime as the government considers how fast it can exit the current COVID-19 lockdown. is Asia First. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. here in Singapore. I'm Julie Yu, our top story this hour. This is U.S. Votes 2020. It's 8 p.m. here in Washington, D.C., 9 a.m. in Singapore. Welcome to the second hour of our CNA special. I'm Dawn Tan. And I'm Simon Marks. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. More polls are closing in the U.S. We're in Hong Kong speaking to business people, bankers, policymakers, and political analysts. This is News Tonight. Good evening. I'm Glenda Chong. And tonight's top stories. This is Singapore Tonight. Good evening, I'm Otelia Duitz. Tonight's top stories. And that's your business update. Back to you, Steve. Yep, many thanks, Eugenia. And still to come, Donald Trump accused of putting his vice president at risk as his impeachment trial continues. <laughs> Cheering sanctions from the U.S. as President, president Biden takes action against the generals involved in Myanmar's coup. And that wraps up Singapore tonight. Headlines anytime at cna.asia. And you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter as well. Bye for now.